all right this is our lab class 4 and in this class we are uh, going to review uh, three previously covered functions which are sum vlookup and if function and after reviewing those we will uh, go for the new tax which is the pivot table reporting and in this pivot table reporting we will look into the one level reporting and the two level reporting and these are the examples of one level reporting and two level reporting which we will practice based on the given file so in this excel file you will see uh, this is the result sheet of students of uh, various major and in this result sheet we are seeing all those attendance marks midterm exam 1 marks the midterm exam 2 marks and lab exam marks and course assignment and final marks so these are the marks for all the students but we need to figure out the total marks <coughs> We need to figure out the grade point scale, letter grade, and whether these students is passing or failing. So, in order to fill this vacant area, we need to review our previously done functions, which are sum, VLOOKUP, and IF. So, <coughs> at first, we need to figure out what should be the total mark, and <coughs> in order to finding the total mark, we need to. Uh, make the summation of all the course components so in this case we have uh, like for the first student Tariq we have all those components from E2 to <coughs> J2 so so that whenever we are making the sum we have to write equal sum E2 colon J2 which is meaning that all the course component we are summing up in this case so this is the tariffs total mark and as we all know we don't have to repeat this summing all the time rather we can drag the function so this is the cell we are selecting if we are so this is the cursor of us like the white plus sign so if you are hovering into the corner of that cell you see the white cursor turns into one black one in that case you have to click and drag it down so it will copy all those function for all the <coughs> students so all the students total marks are there so in order to find out the grade point we need to review the lookup function and before doing the lookup function what we need to do we need to name the lookup table so this is our lookup table so we are now selecting the area which is the data area and after selection we are going to the name box and we are <coughs> naming this table as grade and after writing the grade we need to hit enter so the table is rightly named so if we select the entire area we will see the grade is <coughs> written here so the naming is perfectly all right <coughs> in this we look up table we have total marks in the <coughs> column level number one we have grade point in the index two we have a scale in the index three and we have letter grade in the index four so these are our column index for our VLOOKUP table. In order to find out the grade point, what we need to do, we need to VLOOKUP the <coughs> marks. So we are doing that. So the lookup value is K2. The lookup table is grade as the grade point in the index 2. So index 2 we are giving 
and we are going for the approximate match in this case because you see like we are not having all these number here so we are going for the approximate match so that's the letter grade we are finding the scale as such k2 is the lookup value grade is our lookup table index number 3 and true thus we will receive our scale and for the letter grade we are looking up again k2 grade column index number 4 and we are going for the approximate true so so that we have all these three now we are dragging so all the grades are grade scale and letter grade are copied for the pass fail so we know the 70 is the pass fail number so we need to go for it as this is the pass fail type of decision we need to go for the if function if the lookup value is k2 if k2 is less than 70 then we will tell fail otherwise that's pass so as this is the test we need to write the pass fail inside the inverted now we are driving so all these data are filled now we have to go for the reporting and for the reporting we need to use the pivot table option so before doing the pivot table we need to select the entire table entire data table so we need to select the entire data table then we need to go to the insert and in the insert menu we have one option the first one is the pivot table if we click here and click ok this will be the pivot table interface for us so first thing we are trying to find out is the report the number of pass and fail and that's one level reporting one level reporting meaning we have one component in our row and what should be the component the pass fail so one level meaning we are having one component in our row table and that component should be the pass fail so so here we are having all these fields so the field we are having here we can have a look into all these fields here but we are looking forward to getting the result of the pass fail and that's one level reporting so one component in the row and that component should be the pass fail so take this pass fail and drop into the row level and <coughs> So in the row level we are seeing the pass fail but we are not having the value. So in order to get the value you need to drag this pass fail again and put that pass fail into the value area. Then you see from 30 students 14 students fail and 16 students pass. So that's our example 1. We are saving this as example 1. <coughs> in order to do the second one so we are trying to figure out the pass fail number with percentage so we are not only getting uh, the numbers here we need the percentage here so here we need definitely is one level so one component in the row area because it is one level one component in the row area but two components in the value area again I am selecting the entire table, go to go into the insert, click on the pivot table, click OK. So this is the pivot table area. So as this is the one level reporting and we are trying to figure out the pass fail number with percentage. So I am taking the pass fail in the row area, so that's one level. But as we are having two values, we need to drag these pass fail twice in the value area. 
Now this one is the pass fail number and we want these to be the pass fail percentage. So we need to select the next one, the second or uh, the third column in this table. Right click value field setting show value as percentage percentage of column total. If we click OK, then it will show that 46%, 47% students failed and 53% students passed. So that's our one level reporting with two components. The third one we are trying to figure out is another one level reporting. So we need one component in the row area and we need number and percentage. So we need one component in the row area and again two components in the value area but now we are not actually getting the pass fail rather we are trying to figure out the letter grade so we need to drag the letter grade this time around we are saving the second one as example 2 for the third one let's select the entire table again go to the insert click pivot click ok this is the pivot table area so previously we dragged the pass fail into the row area but this time around we need to drag the letter grade so find the letter grade here so this is the letter grade so drag this letter grade into the row area and <coughs> as we are needing the number and percentage together so we need to drag this letter gate twice in the value area and we to change the second one as the percentage so I'm selecting this area right click go to the going to the value field setting show value as percentage of column total I'm clicking OK so this is the count of letter grade and the percentage of letter grade so we are seeing three students which is 10% students 10% students are getting A A minus B plus C C plus D D plus and F so these are the one I am seeing actually I'm having one problem in the equation but that should be alright the next problem for us is the two level reporting and for two level reporting we need to drag two components in the row area let's see so <coughs> we need to report the number of pass fail according to major so we need to drag the pass fail and major in the row area so I'm saving this one as example 3 now for the fourth one select the entire area click insert click the pivot table click OK now as this is the two level we need two components in the row area so one component should be the pass fail another component should be the major so find the pass fail so this is the first component in the row level and the major so this is the major so drag it down so we are seeing two components in the row level and about report about the number so how many values we actually require we require one value and the value can be that password so drag this password thing in the value area and this should be our two level reporting so you are seeing fail but how many students are failing in accounting how many students are passing in accounting so now we can see and we can actually expand so this is the total fail but this is fail according to major this is total pass but this is 
pass according to nature. So this is the two level reporting we have. So I'm saving it as example four. The last one we have <laughs> the two level reporting. So we need two components and those components should be the letter grade and major but we need uh, two values which is number and percentage so we need two components in the row area and two components in the value area so I am selecting the table again clicking insert clicking on the pivot table clicking OK so we need two components in the value area letter grade and major two components and we need two values number and percentage so we are dragging this letter grade twice and select the area or click here or you can select or click here and go to the value like select the area and do the right click value field setting go to show value as percentage of column total click ok and it will show that how many people are getting A from finance with the percentage so this is the percentage of people getting all those grades but if we want to know how many people are getting B plus in major we just need to expand it then we see in the finance we have three people in the marketing we have one people getting the B plus and so forth so this is our example 5 and that's it on the pivot table example so we practice the one level reporting and two level reporting in the one level reporting we need to have one component in the row area and in the two level reporting we have two components in the row area and we have to figure out how many values we need so for number just the for just for number we need one value for number and percentage we need two values and we need to change the second one as percentage and that's actually the same for all those practices